Hi artists, it's Miss Coon, and today we're gonna make some quick little Veterans Day awards that we're gonna give to our veterans that are coming to our parade here at school. Um, you're gonna have a couple of different design choices. We're gonna create our own patterns in red, white, and blue, so let's get started. Okay, our measurements for our paper today are 18 inches tall by 12 inches across, and we're gonna use markers. We're using the red and the blue Crayola marker to draw a pattern first. I'm not going to color in very much with my markers because it's a little bit slower to do that. You could do straight lines, you can do wavy lines, but we're going to use our markers to draw a pattern that goes all the way down our paper. I'm not going to spend time coloring in with my markers because I feel like I can do that a little bit faster and save some time by using my crayon. So I'm using my markers and I'm drawing a pattern. I'm doing straight lines and wavy lines. It is okay if you would rather do dots or stars or if you have a checkerboard pattern that you're interested in, any pattern is fine. I'm drawing my pattern with markers and I'm gonna add color using crayons. And I've got one more little stripe across the bottom. Okay, my tips with our crayons today is I would, if you're looking for red, I would test it on the back and make sure that you're happy with it before you accidentally color with like a wild strawberry or a color that ends up looking a little bit pink to you. And then I would go in and I would fill in some color. I'm going to show you a few examples that were created by students. Okay, here are several pattern pages that were created by students. The student, they drew their stripes and then they added color doing the red, white, and blue pattern. This friend drew triangles with marker and then went in and colored with crayon. This one did wiggly lines that were horizontal and vertical and they are still working on their crayon part, not quite finished. Okay, this person drew wiggly lines and straight lines and they've gone back in and they're still working to add some color to their pages. I'm sure that you're kind of catching on. We're just doing red, white, and blue patterns, drawing with marker, and then going in and coloring in our shapes using crayon because it's a little quicker. Okay, next we're going to cut your finished sheet of pattern paper into three strips that are 18 inches tall and four inches across and then you're going to accordion fold each of those strips. I fold one end to the front and then to the back to the front back and if you would rather fold it on the table and flip it you can some friends can fold it in their fingers without using the table um, whatever feels more comfortable to you is fine okay once you've gone all the way to the end there are some small staplers that will be at your table and you can staple the corner and you need three little fan shapes okay once you've got your three fans we're going to staple the bottom of one side and then we'll flip them all face down and staple the sides of them together. So I'll start with the two and then I'm going to add my third and then I'm going to pull number one and number three together. So that they complete this circle and I have this pattern and then we're going to add a little detail to the center. Okay, You're going to get one cupcake liner that you can press flat and an adult is going to hot glue it into the center and you'll get one little circle piece of paper. I have a star punch that we may can punch some little stars in it and you'll use this sp space to write your veteran a note and you can write thank you, you can write USA, I'm going to write you are a hero you can write any message that you would like and then we'll use the regular washable school glue at your table do just a dot not a lot on the back and we'll stick it to our cupcake liner you may have to hold it in place for a second for the glue to stick and dry but that is it